what's going on guys so today what I'm going to talk about is managing trades and how to hedge uh, a bad trade and you know sometimes you're right on the stock and, and wrong on the option and that's just part of timing and you can get hit with bad news at just about any time so I'm going to talk about how I personally hedge uh, some of my options if they're not going my way and I still want to hold them I use the ticker symbol GLD, which is gold shares daily. Whenever the market is down, GLD or gold goes up. When people get fearful in the stock market, they run to gold, bonds, and that sort of thing. And you can tell for right now with the coronavirus, with the market going down and being really volatile, and which is increasing people's fear with investing and you can see here ever since the coronavirus started c coming out gold has been through the roof you can see apple was trending up and up for the last several months and then once this coronavirus news hit because apple is uh, tied directly to china it got really volatile Honestly, you probably don't want to be in stocks that are tied to China at all right now. But say you got caught up in the middle of this virus first, you know, really hit. And Apple dropped like something like $15 a share. But then it popped up again. If you're absolutely dedicated to this trade and you do not want to get out and you've got 30 days still until expiration and you want to hold it out and try to at least break even, what you can do is go to GLD. Got worse. And GLD kind of bottomed out right here. GLD would have been a great hedge against the coronavirus because, like I said, when the market goes down, gold goes up. So what I do uh, if I'm losing some money on a trade and the market's going down due, some, due to some news such as the coronavirus is we'll go back to Apple. A lot of times things recover pretty quick, kind of like it did right here. Apple dropped down, you know, fifteen dollars a share, and within three days it was back up even higher than it was when it originally dropped. If you're in a situation like this, what I like to do when it comes down, I'll end up getting into GLD this day. You know, it didn't drop all at once, so as it's going down, I'll jump into some GLD. Let's say the market's down two, three hundred points, I'll buy up some GLD around half as much as I already have in my bullish position on say Apple to so say I had 20 calls on Apple I'll buy 20 or I'll buy 10 puts say I had 20 calls on Apple I'll buy say 10 calls on GLD and what that'll allow me to do is so you probably know what that allows me to do is so you know that if a stock drops or any investment drops 50%, you know that you have to get 100% gain just to break even. So what happens, it makes it very difficult to ride losing options out like this. And say you had 30 days of expiration, you really don't want to get rid of it. You're super confident in the trade. You just ran across some bad news all at once and you're, you're waiting for a rally. But you know you want to make it a little bit easier on yourself to to break even and get out of this trade and even possibly make it a winner. So what I'll do is I'll buy those you know 10 GLD calls and as the market's dropping, those GLD calls will make me money. So say I had 10,000 invested, I lost 50% in that one day of trading on my Apple calls because of bad news like the coronavirus. I'll make say. Two or three thousand back on GLD calls, and I'll usually sell them that day or the next day. Take my profit. What that does is I got some of that money back, and Apple does not have to recover the full 100% gain to break even because now you've got two or three thousand dollars of your money back. You don't have to make a hundred percent, you know, correction back up to where you were to break even. This has saved me so many times and I just wanted to share that with you guys it's a super useful tool you know so if you wake up in the morning and the market's down you know 150 points and you're in a you're in a you know a long call position and you're up some money 
and you want to continue to hold that position and it starts to come down on you definitely look into some GLD um, call options when the market is down it really takes off when it's super volatile people get super fearful some markets at all-time high and the slightest bit of bad news the market drops and what happens is it drops too far it gets oversold and it's a great time to make money on GLD because people panic and cause the market to go down further than it should causing gold to go up and very quickly several dollars a day usually on really bad news such as the coronavirus and you know and then people go oh man it's not as bad as we thought and the market corrects back to you know where it was a lot of the time sometimes it's a couple days sometimes it takes longer so like right now the coronavirus is going to be no telling so the best news i have for you with the coronavirus is stay away from stocks that are tied to china at all but if you're stuck in a trade right now and you're losing money on it and you don't want to get rid of it and you've got a decent amount of time to expiration you either need to cut your losses or you know find a hedge you know buy some index puts possibly on the s p or spy this is a good one and it just Uh, you can see, you know, with the coronavirus news and the market being down, gold's gone from, we'll say, 148 to 154. So you can just imagine having 10 calls on that. It's an awesome hedge. I use it all the time. You don't have to use GLD like I do. You can find some alternative that works opposite of the market. So when the market's down and it's up, and a another way that you can see if stocks are not tied directly to china if you're kind of confused on how you could try to figure that out at the end of a down day look at you know your watch list and stocks that were up that day or were little affected that means you know those stocks are most likely not connected to china or very small amount is connected to china and uh, i highly recommend man don't use your whole account to trade with always keep cash on hand so you can save yourself when it's something like this happens, you know, if you have your whole account invest on one trade, you're going to wipe yourself out eventually. You're going to have a bad trade and you're going to be completely wiped out. You need to make small trades um, fairly frequently and keep cash on hand so you can protect yourself when something goes wrong. So, you know, so like, uh, like I said, a lot of times I'll just, you know, if, if my options are going down I'll buy GLD and as options going down on one GLD will go up and I'll get rid of GLD and then let the option come back up on my uh, original you know trade and then I can get out and try to break even on it and uh, it's just something that I use all the time it's really worked out well for me